main event of the evening. Patrick Vallet in the red corner against Jake Brutal Boswick in the blue. The referee in charge, David Swan, gives those final instructions. The temperature is going to go through the roof. I mean, the noise level literally just blew the roof off. Incredible, off Chris, incredible. Such a fan following for this young man. And Jake Boswick on an eight fight win streak, a reign of terror, as I said. In this welterweight division, Chris. Shorter of the two men marginally compared to Valet. And good footwork from Valet. He'll be aware of the power of the man he's facing. And Valet, it's a big right round kick. I'm telling you, man, Boswick has been working super hard at the double K gym. And look for him to exhibit those stand up skills and diversifying his attack tonight. Yes, Kieran Kettle. A big name now in MMA as well as the Thai boxing. Transitioned beautifully to the art. A little bit of a feeling out process, but still heavy leather being thrown from both fighters. I think it's the right tactic from Valet. But eating those right round kicks is not. He's got to start checking them, Chris. And you'll see Valet look to possibly extend that jab a little bit, but in doing so, he puts risk of putting too much weight on that lead leg. Boswick, there you go, see? Exactly. Good call, Chris, and he can't keep taking it. This is just round one. Big right hand from Jake Boswick. Thunders home. Rips across the sky in center ring here at York Hall. And Valet's keeping mobile, though. That's what he's got to do. He cannot get back into a corner here with Boswick on the other end of the trigger. Well, what he's doing well, though, Boswick, is, is cutting this cage down, staying close, staying in range. Nice jab to the body from Valet. He's got a real nice snappy jab on that, but I fear he puts way too much weight on that lead leg. Nice check there. There we go. He, he had to. He had to start. And I like the economy of everything about these two men. Nothing wasted at the moment, Chris. Nothing at all. Categorically, both very restrained in their approach. I can't tell if Boswick is trying to set traps here with that right leg kick. You can already see the bruising of Valet's lead leg underneath that short though. Yes, Valet is now aware of the power. And I said, we can see, as you said, just below the short line there, the, the red welt already. Boswick certainly getting off first, but Valet doesn't look to have too much damage as far as the movement goes. Although taking a look at that leg. Oh, oh he just took another right, Chris, as well. Clip the temple, that one. Boswick beginning to unload now, beginning to close that gap. I'm curious to see if Valet is going to go off with anything other than that jab. I feel like he's got a bit of a surprise factor. Obviously, Boswick did not have a ton of time to prepare, but hey, Boswick was saying, look, I don't mind. I'll take anybody, anytime, anywhere, any place. Well, as you said, that's the confidence of a winning streak that's being built now. Big right round kick for Boswick. I like how he steps into that very nicely. Well, he chops it across as, as well because he gets maximum power out of it. And Valet felt the power of, of what was technically a jab there. Yeah, I mean, well, no, actually, I think he was southpaw there. I got a correction on that now. He actually went with the left cross. So in doing so, obviously, he brought the arm back, traveled further distance on the incoming shot then. A lot of guys like John Jones do that. They'll go from orthodox right to southpaw and they'll go left cross. Very effective tool, especially when you're pulling this distance from a different stance. Well, Valet, as you said, sticking to that left jab at the moment. To me, it's more a damage limitation tool rather than a man looking to win the bout. But it's interesting, Valet with a slight reach advantage, but he's getting eaten up with those right hands right now. Well, he felt that one again as well, grimaced. Boswick really putting a lot of effort into those shots as it comes down. Nice head move from Jake. He well, you, so loose in there. You get the feeling, Chris, if Valet keeps up this style and reliance on the jab, there's going to come a time when, when Jake will take that one step in and stay there in the pocket, and then those bombs will really have meaning. And the problem is when Boswick gets on fire and he's got you backed up against the ring, that's going to be... Oh! That said a big right from Valet! It suddenly came in. That's all over. Oh my goodness. This could be a real upset here. Oh, Jake Boswick trying to escape and he is inside with a quarter guard. No you wondered if Valet had anything else and he showed it. He was waiting and waiting for that right hand and suddenly it came out of nowhere. I thought he was out for a second. That's great referee from our referee in charge. That was nuts, man, but that's a really tight guillotine. 
That is really, 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 really tight. But Boswick's doing the right thing. He's throwing that arm, getting out. There we go. Good stuff from Jake Boswick. He's got time to recover here. Looks to his corner, but what a shot. Unbelievable connection from Patrick Valet. Floored Jace Boswick. And now he's in full mount. Raining down death from above. They look for the arm bar. Oh! That looks deep. Belly down, Russian style. Boswick's going to roll out. Great stuff from Jake Boswick. Oh, incredible stuff here from Boswick. What a first round this has been, Chris. Unbelievable stuff there. Unbelievable. How much has Jake Bostwick recovered from that late assault from Patrick Ballet? Big right round kick from Jace Boswick. I want to see some more of that from Boswick. He obviously has probably the edge in the kicking game. And that's arguably where his most significant strikes came in that opening round if you look at the damage on Ballet's lead leg. That's right. He's got to be so careful now, Jake, between a rock and a hard place here. Does he force the issue and get caught again? Does he stay at range on the end of that jab of Ballet? A lot of questions need to be answered now. Big kick again for Boswick. I want to see Boswick keep swapping stances. That seemed to confuse Ballet to the point where Ballet wasn't able to get anything else beyond that jab. Boswick, as you said, doing the right thing here targeting that lead leg and again as he did early in the first round Valet not checking it yet and Boswick putting on a kicking clinic so far in round two once again mirror image of round one from the start but got to be very careful of those sneaky punches from Valet yes and here he comes again Valet the knee jumping knee attempt he springs into action he felt that body shot though Valet that's why he went for the takedown wow Great scramble from Patrick Ballet. The Boswick responding and defending beautifully there and rolling out of that takedown attempt. Brilliant and stuff. Has attempted reply from Ballet. This one has set the York Hall alight. Oh, and there's the kick again. This time, Ballet looks to take it. Unbelievable. Ballet will look to take that fight down off the kick. It was a very wise decision, though, I suppose. Using the overhook to control and trying to pass here. Can't tell if he's out. There we are. Mount. Boswick was looking to scramble though. Nice. Boswick doing very good to create space and get out. He's going to try to hip escape here, but Valet is going to try to clinch down with his left arm to control his hips of Boswick. Boswick looking, looking to his corner though. there, look, Chris. Moving to his corner, listening to them. Valet looking for the back now. Trying to get those hooks in his Valet. One hook in. Second, second hook in. Boswick doing a nice and go. Back to the was a little high there. Boswick escaped on the back door. Watch for the big right hand from Boswick here. Listen to the fans' response. They know how deep this man has had to dig to get back to this position. It's interesting to see how cardio is going to develop here. You know, both these guys are fighting a little bit higher in weight than they normally would, actually. So I'm still trying to recover from the fact how shocked Valet was from the body shot. And Valet has figured forward up on Boswick's arm. He needs to use it more and escape from this position. But obviously locking up the arm, he sacrifices his ability to defend punches. Nice defense from Boswick and stuffing that head on him. It is a pressure on that arm and it neutralizes Valet's ability to crank on it. This is the maturity I was talking about in every respect now, Chris. Ooh! Now a big back take scramble, a little high once again, and it's Valet who winds up on his back. So many twists and turns in this back. This is everything you could ask for from a main event. It's the maze of mixed martial arts. So many nooks and crannies. Valet going for the armbar, but much too slippery at this point. And also Boswick, as he went for it, just dropped the forearm onto him. And Boswick charging forward, chin down. Looking to possibly put Valet on his back again, but I suspect he's going to disconnect the strikes. Knee to the thigh there as well. Man, Boswick is a warrior. That guy is an absolute machine. Nice body dump there and putting Patrick Valet down. He's going to look to pass here. Valet looking for the wrist control, Chris, but I'm amazed the way Jake Boswick has turned this around. The nice use of Jake Boswick's knee there. He's trying to trap the arm, isn't he? Yeah, I was going to say, he's trying to trap the arm. And then let's use that right hand. Watch the elbow come in or a long right hand power shot. There we go, there's that elbow I was talking about. Dropping the short elbows now, Jake Boswick. An amazing turnaround for this young man. And Patrick sitting in half guard, right against the cage. Boswick right in front of his corner though, unfortunately, for Valet. 
Patrick's probably wondering why am I still here after the first round? I did everything right. This should have been over. Jake Boswick landing those short elbows, scoring very effectively here from this position, pinning out Ballet. Ballet needs to try to hit in. Oh, he almost trapped the arm with the knee again, but then he just rains down more elbows. I was going to say, Ballet needs to hit in. There we go. Now he's got an open guard here where he can try to cage walk and get back up. I was looking for Ballet to possibly stiff arm and create that space. He actually was able to scramble in. Very nice stuff. Ballet's got really good scrambles. This is a testament to the well-rounded nature of his training and preparation for this battle. And he's looking for that Kamara again, but time's gonna run out. Wow, what a fight, Malcolm. What a turnaround, what a comeback. So Chris, third and final round, and the crowd here are at fever pitch. What a treat they've had for the main event here so far across two absolutely riveting rounds. This is what it must have felt like 2,000 years ago when two heroes would step in and fight during the Roman Empire. I mean, I can't think of anything more fitting to end this historic night here in New York Hall. I than agree with the you, Chris. Round. I agree 100%. An amazing show of determination, grit, and courage from Boswick to come back and actually, we feel, possibly dominate proceedings in the second. And it's been a wild affair with incredible variation from both fighters and their ability, as I said, to try and exploit and find cracks in the rock that is their armor. Boswick should have been out from the ground a pound in round one. Yet still had the foresight and temerity to hold on. And then he should have been submitted, and he wasn't. Incredible stuff. I know, I mean, I gotta be honest. I don't usually try and call a fight and say it's all over until I really think it's all over. And looking at our monitor and the angle we had here, I was sure that there was no way he was going to be able to get out of that. I mean, I literally think he did flash KO. But Boswick bringing it to Valet here. And He's probably watch that right uppercut though, Chris. That's the one danger for him. Yeah, those are it's sort of like his guard is a little bit wide at the elbows. I mean, it's just part of his frame. Obviously, he's a very, very powerful individual. He's built like a gorilla, but... Patrick Valet still looking pretty fresh here, breathing pretty comfortably. It's a big left hook though from Boswick. Yes, Boswick. Those kicks again, worrying Valet. And Jake Boswick, as you said, threatening with that right round kick, but Valet doing very nicely, moving away. Problem there was he moved into it. He checked it this time. His leg's cut as well. Valet's leg is cut at the shin. Was that from a check? That is the question. I think it was from that last check. Oh, oh my goodness, Patrick Valet with the right uppercut. I warned you, I said Chris, that was the danger, the Valet uppercut. And Boswick here, trying to find his wits. Patrick looks tired though, Malcolm. Well that uppercut, he must have thought, I've got to finish it here, that, and it hasn't. We said at the beginning of the round, Chris, he's the one danger from the way he holds himself is the valet uppercut and it's landing again. And now Boswick is landing the elbow. Just when you think the fight is going to change one direction, it changes course into another. Unbelievable stuff. And Boswick using that right butterfly hook, trying grapevine in with his other leg. Create some space, turn him away from the cage. Not sure if he's going to try to attack here off his back or get back up now. Unbelievable stuff, Chris. What a fight to end the evening. And you'll see, as I said, the way that Basso connected that right leg and popped Valet's leg wider to try to create space. He's doing it again right there, see? I suspect he's going to probably try and turn into the cage and stand up here, but make no mistake, Mal, he's fighting on instinct right now. Yes, an incredible shot. An unbelievable affair. I feel like, time-wise, as we move towards the end of this bout, Boswick, time-wise, has controlled more of the fight. But Valet possibly landing a few really, really significant strikes. Very significant, Chris. As I said, they've, they've both been uppercuts that have caused Jake all sorts of problems. But you know what? That's irrelevant. The fact that he's still here is absolutely unbelievable. And full mount for Patrick Valet, the Frenchman, looking to make things happen here late in round three. Unbelievable stuff here. And a lot of tension in the atmosphere right now. It's a big struggle going on, you know. How is Basu going to be able to pop out, maybe perhaps under Valet's arm? Is he going to be able to keep Valet's posture down? If Buswick doesn't get a big finish here, I can see the Frenchman taking this. If, if Jake 
doesn't turn and really mount the last 30 seconds, 40 seconds offensive. I can see Ballet taking this. This is unbelievable. Ballet doing a very nice job here of controlling half guard, keeping that shoulder pressure down on Boswick. Boswick is fighting. He's going to try and time his escape here and not expend too much energy until he has to do so. And a good show of patience from both men. Yes, Boswick needs a big finishing hand. As you said, there was his attempt. Ballet was aware of it. Now Boswick turns again. And Boswick back up to his feet. Oh! Bostwick came back there at the end, Chris. That was absolutely unbelievable.